You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Christy Sides, the Indiana Fever coach. And uh, as we stand today, happy Independence Day. And uh, <laughs> even today, people are still calling for Christy Sides' job. And look, can't say I blame people when you start digging up stats and start looking at, really digging in and looking at things. Here's a couple of things right here just to uh, give you an idea of why people are so disgusted. Well, how about the fact that as of right now, if the playoffs ended, uh, the Indiana Fever would not make the WNBA playoffs. And that's with Caitlin Clark, Aaliyah Boston, and Kelsey Mitchell making the all-star team. This is one reason why Christy Sides is facing backlash today because she's got three WNBA All-Stars. And just a little idea, of course, people are very upset over the amount of shot attempts and just how the offense looks. We're 21 games in, and this is the amount of field goal attempts from Caitlin Clark, who supposedly has a green light. A green light to shoot. So... Out of 21 games, I've got one, two, three, four, uh, four games where I would say I would be okay with how many shot attempts uh, Caitlin Clark was allowed to take in the rest of these games. No. No. And by the way, she hasn't taken 20 shot attempts, period, all year long. And, of course, as you can imagine, she's facing a lot of uh, backlash, and I'm talking about Christy Sides. And she made some comments, and that's what has everybody sort of fired up about having these all-stars. Head coach Christy Sides on Aaliyah Boston, Caitlin Clark, and Kelsey Mitchell making the all-star team. Quote, you know it's awesome to have three all-stars for the Indiana Fever. It just shows you... This is the future for the Indiana Fever. That's great. But is she the right person to lead Caitlin Clark into the future? Now, a lot of people, you see that? Lisa Boulder right there. I mean, uh, you're talking about a college coach that went uh, won 716 games and only lost 359. And obviously, she is Caitlin Clark's previous coach. There's been rumors. Mark Jackson, you know, Monty Williams. Those have been floating around out there. I would love to see her get a former NBA coach as her next coach because I think we all believe this coach is not going to hang around. So when you realize they are outside the playoffs, the Fevers stand as the number nine team in the WNBA rankings. WNBA fans grilled sides online, roasting for her for having so much talent and so little production. I mean, seriously. It, she claims she's got, Caitlin Clark's got a, a green light, but a lot of people just aren't believing that. It's Fire Christy Sides Day again. Three All Stars for the Fever being coached by Christy Sides. No joke. This team's had a better chance to win. Just running the pick and roll with CeCe and AB and guard-to-guard screens with CeCe and Kelsey Mitchell. Have a bunch of number, uh, random number generator choose and gets it each possession versus Christy Sides coaching. So they're saying, hey, in theory, you could just have some analytics person know that they could run this team better. And I don't love the analytics only kind of coach. But that's where the, the stats lead us to in, into this situation. Where was Christy Side's speech in the fourth quarter talking about that loss as they just collapsed versus the Aces? Motivate them, then do your co- don't do your coaching at the end of a win. Your players needed you during the game. And this person even goes so far as to say they like getting losses Because it reminds everybody that Christy Sides needs to be fired. I brought that up the other day, right? And I know that seems sort of negative, but let's say this team actually sneaks into the playoffs. She's not going anywhere if they do. 
All right. And you got to go through the thought process of, do you want Caitlin Clark's early career to be wasted like this? Because she is not taking nearly enough attempts. Seriously. Christy Sides is a war criminal getting in her head. I need Aaliyah to grab Cece by the shoulders and yell in her face. Teammates going to have to gas her up because the coach sure as hell ain't going to do it. Christy Sides' mind games regarding Cece's shooting has her twisted up. I agree with that. I think I think she has told her to pass the ball, and then out of the other side of the, her mouth, I think she tells her to shoot. I think Caitlin Clark don't know what to do right now. She needs somebody in caps involved to shake her out of the funk. Sides has got to go next season. This guy right here on Independence Day, let's hope Christy Sides, the Indiana Fever coach, is fired so Caitlin Clark can get her independence. Wow. Wow. Christy Sides coach teams don't play defense. They're terrible on defense. And they play at a slow pace. Wow. I mean, seriously, Sides' decision-making is beyond comprehension. (laughs) The old, good old Vince McMahon gif right here. Dad, who was Caitlin Clark before Christy Sides coached her? Uh, People are, are worried right now. Truly. I want the Fever to make the playoffs, if only for the front office, to watch Christy Sides completely show her inability to make adjustments in scheme. They've got to know, but we've got to prepare ourselves for how bad that's going to be. We will have to win despite her. I actually think that's that's their success this year, is they've won d- despite what the coach has done. Good morning, X. Happy 4th of July. Official day eight of Fire Christy Sides Watch. Waiting for the Indiana Fever to replace Christy Sides. There's 19 more games to go. Seriously. I mean, if Christy Sides struggles next year, that's a fear that she gets another season. Please help to save your franchise and your team and your three all stars, Fire Christy Sides as she seriously knows not what she does and is ruining a good team one day at a time. I mean, wow. Seriously. It is is getting bad. I mean, enough is enough. Christy Sides has no earthly idea how to run a WNBA team fire ass already and get someone who does. I mean, yeah, it's it's bad. Worst coach ever. Uh, it's it, she is going to continue, continue to get drug, game in and game out with every loss they have, and every time we continue to pull up these stats and see twelve field goal attempts, fourteen, nine, nine, nine. 11, 12, 12, 11, 11, 8? I mean, there's no way a shooter that is very similar to somebody like Steph Curry is going to shoot themselves out of a funk with nine shot attempts. I mean, that needs to be up 18 to 22 again is the sweet spot. I've said it before. I will continue to say it in every video I make until Christy Sides either undergoes some kind of coaching transformation or she gets run out. Uh, that's all there is to it. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's it's getting ugly. People are making... Get Caitlin Clark Independence Day happening from Christie Sides. Yikes. Yikes. I don't know, man. If they make the playoffs, you, you're, you're earning another year of this. Seriously. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.